Hi Richard, uh, this is Yasser and I'd, I would just like to start by thanking you for allowing me with the opportunity to do a brief uh, video review for your website. Um, uh, a small introduction about myself, uh, I own uh, an online marketing company, we have around 150 clients and uh, we, we, you know, we're getting clients from different sources but uh, I was never on LinkedIn uh, for the longest period of time and we just started our presence over there and that's why we're just uh, reaching out to clients and helping them with their websites in order to get some recommendations flowing in and uh, uh, possibly some more leads right uh, if you like our work okay so uh, let's get started um, this uh, video review will uh, be anywhere between 10 to 15 or 10 to 17 minutes depending on uh, how many factors I, I, I can see which need uh, a little bit of tweaking or changes and uh, after the video is done I will send you a word document as well uh, it will pretty much contain all the recommendations and suggestions which uh, which you ideally need to address in order to get uh, more uh, leads and business out of this website. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the first thing uh, uh, is uh, the title tag uh, and that is by far the most important element in terms of uh, on-site SEO. Uh, now looking at the title tag, uh, it is fine but you can add some uh, major keywords in there like two or three keywords if space permits you. You can uh, add keywords like uh, expert recruiting firm or specialist recruiting firm because if you have these keywords in the title tag, it'll directly affect your rankings. Most of your other competitors are, are not, uh, they don't have uh, these kind of keywords present in their title tags, which will probably make uh, your ranking, you know, it'll probably make you rank high much e easily than if if they had those keywords in the title tag, right? So the same goes for uh, the description tag. Uh, it is fine, but uh, I would suggest adding a call to action, adding something which makes your uh, firm unique, um, you know, anything which would make the visitor click, right? You can even add your phone number in there, but the basic idea over there is to get them to click, right? So if, uh, if the description tag is compelling enough, uh, people will click through to your website and you'd be surprised how, at how much uh, how many more clicks you would get get just by tweaking these two things okay so apart from that um, uh, we're looking at these three social buttons I would suggest uh, moving them up to the top right over here just because most of the people will not even pay attention uh, to uh, on-page elements below the fold and we've tested this enough uh, there is a big difference between having these buttons over here right and uh, you know this will get m most of the people to uh, plus one your website or tweet it or uh, you know like it on Facebook so you definitely want uh, that kind of free promotion going on right it's very simple to move it over here we can even do that for you if you if you want there's nothing technical about it Okay, so uh, in terms of the content, now there's, uh, you know, after the Google Penguin update, there's a direct uh, correlation between how much unique relevant content you have on page and where you rank, right? Uh, it's not the same for all the websites, but there is, I mean, there's a direct uh, correlation over there. Um, so I would suggest adding a little bit of content. If, if this were my domain, if this were my website, I would at least add 500 more words of unique relevant content um, either either below the fold or near the footer or in the footer it really depends upon you if if you think that it will detract from the look of the website that's fine as well but you can still add it um, and you can use a smaller font right it just has to be on the page somewhere and it'll really help you with the rankings just because most of your other competitors are not doing this right um, so uh, this is pretty easy to take care of as well we uh, we can write the content for you as well but uh, if you're more comfortable doing that you can do that yourself as well okay so in terms of the social buttons that are here um, we are looking at uh, first of all the Twitter page okay so um, you, you have uh, 548 followers you're following 540 uh, and I can I can see what you're trying to do um, you're basically following other people in the hopes that a small portion will follow you back and that is going to increase your uh, follower count uh, and ratio over time which is fine right but uh, there are other simpler ways to do it as well um, uh, if, if you want uh, uh, you can get vendors to get you legitimate followers uh, even in the thousands I mean we provided like 5,000 uh, legitimate legitimate followers to another client in in the gaming in a, industry I think over a period of 10 to 15 days 
So we can pretty much do the same thing for you. The difference is that first of all, uh, your firm will look uh, more, you know, much more popular, right? And secondly, just because you will, you know, you'll consistently make these updates, it'll be, um, it'll be tweeted out to more followers. And if it's, uh, I mean, if it's newsworthy, if it's interesting to your followers, they will get uh, to mention it to a lot more people, right? So we're looking at kind of a viral effect over here. And also since after the Penguin update, the more retweets you have on Twitter the more mentions you have about your website on Twitter the higher your rankings at least temporarily okay so uh, this is a huge factor um, if, if you have like five or ten thousand more followers it'll make a huge difference right so something to um, think about okay um, in terms of the Facebook uh, fan page, 152 likes is fine, and uh, but we can still get you a lot more likes, and we will not be using any spammy accounts. Every single person will be legitimate, right? So it'll be an actual person liking and interacting with your page, right? So uh, we won't use any bot accounts. The difference, once again, is the fact that uh, uh, the more people you have over here, the more likes you generate, the more activity you generate, the more visitors will indirectly or directly come and visit your website either through the search engines because of uh, higher placement or just because they like your content and uh, your content will uh, you know it'll reach a lot more people so once again we can do that as well we, we've been uh, providing clients with the uh, legitimate uh, visitors likes and tweets for a long period of time and we can do the same for you okay so um, that being said, um, the count over here, right? Uh, first of all, uh, there's a difference between uh, these two things. For example, your Twitter page, your Facebook page, and the actual number of people who like or tweet about this page, right? So this is reflected by these buttons. Um, and since Google Plus One is, I mean, obviously it's controlled by Google, if we get legitimate people with verified accounts to increase this count, you, you'd be surprised at how quickly this will increase your rankings, right? We've been doing this in the past. We've run various tests. It's, I mean, this is for sure. You increase this count, it, it'll increase your rankings and your traffic. Same thing goes for these two uh, statistics. Uh, uh, we can also get people, legitimate people, legitimate legitimate accounts to like and tweet about this page. Um, we all we had a client who, uh, who has around like 500 tweets to his website's homepage and maybe 250 or even 300 likes and 150 Google plus ones and he's getting a lot of traffic, right? Just because sometimes people, um, uh, first of all, they're referring your website to other people directly and secondly, um, it'll result in higher placement just because these social factors are working for you, okay? So um, we can do that for you as well. Okay, so let's uh, go to the blog. Um, all right, so uh, May 1st, mm -hmm. April 16th, January, November, October. Okay, so here, here's the thing. Um, the, uh, the blog post could be a little more uh, frequent if uh, time allows you. If 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 you're uh, having difficulty finding time, we have many content writers who, who can help you with this. You just have to provide them with uh, some uh, some pointers as to what to mention, what not to mention, what what titles to work with, and we can pretty much take care of it. It doesn't really matter what uh, uh, what uh, market you are in because we've worked. Uh, we've also written content for dentists and on really technical topics. So I'm pretty sure we can help you out over here. The difference is that once you increase your follower count and your and the number of likes uh, once you start blogging more it'll reach more people and it is more like an automated system right you don't have to once you get started on it uh, you don't really have to tweak it that much right so this is what we do for our website as well and we have uh, over a thousand people uh, signing up to our newsletters every month right and we can do pretty much uh, the same thing for you all it takes is just placing an automated system in there and just writing about interesting content and the rest uh, pretty much uh, follows through right so that being said let's see okay so some um, some more on page changes uh, if you will the, f the first thing is if it's possible instead of having a get in touch button I would suggest having an on page uh, intake form or uh, you know a contact us form over here in the top right you'd be surprised at how much how, how many more people would sign up just because uh, this button is not that no noticeable but if you have a form over here 
it's well you know it's very easy to notice and people uh, most people are lazy they would probably just want a form over here in order to contact you instead of going to another page right once again this has been tested um, there is a huge difference in the response rate if you have um, a, a contact us uh, page on a, a form on a different page right so I would suggest adding a form over here um, pretty simple to do we can do that for you as well and I don't see any newsletters sign up um, yeah, I don't see. Yeah. So I would suggest that whenever someone visits this website, you just have a very small pop up over here or, you know, over here anywhere, which would uh, tell uh, potential candidates to sign up to your mailing list and you would send them periodic uh, um, uh, job offers or anything which would interest them. Right. So once they are signed up, uh, they will all, you know, you you will be able to contact them periodically whenever you want right and uh, it would just be more you know it'll be easier to fill in positions or advertise to them or you know do a lot more things uh, just because you have them on your email list okay so uh, it's simple it's a simple pop-up once again it, it won't look unprofessional right uh, we, we will make sure it looks uh, it matches the website first of all and it looks genuine and you know it's very easy to do and if people don't like it they can always uh, close it right so, so nothing to it okay so uh, that pretty much uh, takes care of the on yeah on the on page uh, SEO I, I cannot find anything else which needs changing over here all right so let's move on to some of um, your competitors okay so uh, uh, but before we do that okay we're looking at uh, open site explorer which is one of the major tools that uh, SEO professionals use in order to um, uh, in order to look at uh, different statistics on clients websites right so we're, uh, we're pretty much doing the same thing for you as well um, and these are three of your competitors right and we've run a test for them as well all right so without uh, without going through too many metrics uh, we're looking at um, around 49 links for your website which is a count that you can probably improve on just because uh, many of the links uh, you know a handful of links probably won't be helping you out with uh, with the rankings that much okay and I'm just going to tweak the settings a little bit and only show you ex links from external sources uh, just to see what is working and what's not okay so a couple of changes required here okay the first thing is not a single link is using your money keywords which is probably a big deal right because uh, you're not ranking uh, high for most of your keyword terms just because there are no other websites referring and linking to you using your major keywords which would be a uh, specialist recruiting firm or um, expert recruiting firm or it could be thousands of other keywords but uh, yeah they're not mentioned over here right and the second thing is there is anchor text concentration right so see you're using uh, most of your inbound links are using pretty much the same keywords, right? So three keywords in total are dominating your backlink profile. This can trigger uh, a penalty post penguin, right? So you have to make sure that you use at least 10 to 15 different keywords. You vary them. You use keywords like click here as well, just because it looks more natural. And if your website goes through a manual review, it, it won't cause a lot of problems, right? So uh, please do attend to this. Uh, you do have some relevant links. Actually, most of the links are relevant. And we can help you out over here as well by, first of all, increasing the link count. Secondly, making sure that you get more relevant links from high PR sources, which will definitely increase your rankings for sure. There's no question about it, right? And we'll also use many different keywords just so everything looks more natural right so I was doing keyword research and there are so many different keywords that you can use uh, they're not that competitive and if you rank in the top three you will get uh, at least two or three leads uh, a week right but that's only if you rank at the top for them and we'll talk about that uh, a little later on okay so uh, 49 links uh, which is not a lot uh, you know I would suggest uh, doing link building for at least two to three months and that will provide you with a dramatic a dramatic improvement in terms of um, 
um, sales and lead generation okay so uh, we've already covered this before you need more Facebook shares likes tweets and Google plus ones just because it drives more traffic to your website through higher placement and just because more people are referring you to uh, their friends to your website okay so um, with this covered we're, we're just gonna look at some of your competitors um, um, okay so this website has 55 links not a lot of Facebook shares not a lot of uh, social media going on and but they have a, you know um, more more of a natural profile see they're using many different keywords right they're making sure everything looks more natural so the chances of them getting into a penalty is much less than um, uh, your website okay so just uh, some food for thought another competitor uh, read shea.com 35 links not a single Facebook share just one tweet um, probably not uh, the best promotion going on for their website and yeah yeah, they're, most of the links are not even using any anchor text, which is probably bad news. They're, uh, it's kind of um, wasting the links, right? Um, but but the bottom line is, your competitors, they do not have a lot of content on the homepage. They don't have a lot of links, and it's very easy to outrank them, okay? So if these are your typical competitors, uh, very easy to outrank them. It just takes two or three uh, months of SEO work, of social media work, of uh, you know and it'll inclu include uh, uh, improving your visibility in terms of social media adding more shares likes tweets and Google plus ones once you have that covered once you have uh, content on your website once you tweak your title and description tags and add uh, on page elements for example uh, just like the uh, the sign up form and a mailing list form you should be good to go it's pretty simple to do uh, the most important thing once again is uh, the link building just because well you know um, uh, you don't have a lot of links and there is anchor text concentration okay so apart from that some uh, secondary factors which uh, might not be that important is first of all that we could not find a mobile version of your website um, you might have it but I just couldn't find it and if you personally think that you you know um, a significant portion of your um, of your uh, prospects might be using smartphones uh, to try to visit your website I would suggest having a mobile version of your website uh, online as well and uh, because if if someone tries to open this using a smartphone it might or might not be compatible right so um, uh, it's probably a good idea to uh, use um, your uh, to add a mobile version of this website okay so that being said I could also not uh, find you on Google Google Places, so Google Business Listings, right? So if if you do think that uh, you would be out operating in local areas, for example, using city modifiers, which I'm pr I'm pretty sure you would, since we talked about this on the phone, I would suggest uh, um, adding local listings as well. It doesn't take a lot of work, and those local listings will start ranking above. Um, organic results just because that's the way it is right uh, most of the local listings they're ranking above organic results and most people most businesses don't even pay attention to them right so we can do that for you we can optimize it for two or three different cities that way you will rank for organic results and you'll rank for the local listings as well so chances are whenever someone finds you know searches for you using a city modifier your website will show up twice for um, on the first page right so um, that being said um, the final thing which I can think of right off the top of my head is uh, getting more videos on YouTube right so if you like we can make uh, really small videos uh, about your website about your services on YouTube we did that that for another client and uh, I think we generated around 50 videos very small videos uh, less than a minute and we uploaded them to YouTube and 50 other video sharing websites right so totally up to you um, it, it really doesn't cost a lot but it'll bring in video links and it will all which are first of all they're great for SEO and secondly some people they just search on YouTube um, about these kind of things as well and uh, that just improves uh, increases your reach um, so uh, there's a good uh, reason why you should go ahead with it 
Okay, so um, uh, once again, the most important thing uh, that we have to look at and change are the on-site SEO elements, the title and the description tag, adding a form here, moving the social buttons over here, um, and uh, adding a mailing list sign up box, preferably over here, a very small box uh, which people can just uh, close if they're not interested. Um, apart from that, we are looking at increasing the link count for your website, the social media aspects, the shares, the likes, the tweets, the Google uh, plus ones, making sure your anchor text is not concentrated, um, making sure that you're using actual money keywords in there. Uh, because otherwise you will never rank high for those keywords simply because other websites are not currently vouching and pointing and linking to your website using those keywords right so once again very important um, apart from that everything is good to go um, if you do decide uh, to get us to build links for you we will only build relevant links which are inside Google's guidelines and which are known to in improve your rankings in as little as two to three months Right, uh, we have around 150 clients, and so we have a method which is tested out. Um, and apart from relevant link building, we're also looking at social media, tweaking the fan page and the Twitter page a little bit, and making sure um, uh, you know it, it is good for all branding purposes in terms of your company. Okay, so um, yeah, I hope uh, this uh, really helped you out. I will also once again be sending you a word document. It'll talk about everything. It'll mention all the recommendations that. Uh, um, I mentioned and uh, yeah please do let me know what you think of it and uh, I will be sending this to you very shortly thank you